Turning a leaf over only to find what looks like a bunch of tiny little eggs can cause a quick panic because that's not what you want to see. These are my okra plants and they've been growing here in full sun and intense heat. And according to my research, the temperatures would be considered too high, triple digits, and would cause plant stress. And when a plant is stressed, that makes it more vulnerable to being attacked by pests. So naturally, when seeing these tiny clear balls on the plant leaves, you would think that they were eggs of some kind, but they're not. I learned that the tiny clear balls you're seeing on your plant is actually like sap. It's naturally occurring, it doesn't harm your plant, and there's nothing wrong with your plant. I almost want to call these tiny clear balls extra floral nectaries. That was the thought that actually crossed my mind, but because I couldn't find any articles or studies flat out saying that these were extra floral nectaries growing on my okra plant, I'm not going to say that they are for sure, but it's very, very similar. I do think that they are though. And it's similar in the sense that there are plants that produce extra floral nectaries that look exactly like these tiny clear balls on the okra leaves. And some plants do produce extra floral nectaries that may look a little bit different, but in this case, they look exactly alike. And when a plant produces extra floral nectaries, know that it's nectar, it's sugar, and it can attract ants. And I've seen plenty of ants on and around my okra plants and these tiny clear balls. So I've read that plants produce these tiny clear balls or extra floral nectaries to attract predatory insects, which is fine. And that's what you want in your garden to keep your plants healthy. But in my experience, when plants produce sugary substances like this and ants become attracted to it, aphids and mealybugs are not too far away. Ants do farm aphids and mealybugs and having aphids and mealybugs on a plant means that they're sucking the life out of your plant and if you don't get it under control immediately you may end up having to get rid of it or just watch it die slowly. But the good news is that when it comes to these tiny clear balls under my okra leaves is that there are no signs of any aphids or mealybugs. The ants aren't killing the plants. The okra plants are actually very healthy and I've had no reason to attempt to treat it or worry so it's growing just fine. So I hope that you can find some comfort in that. So if you see these tiny clear balls on plants and you have no pests and the plant is growing just fine, there's no need to worry about it. You'll see these tiny clear balls under the plant's leaves, um, on the stem, on buds, and sometimes on top of the leaves too. That's where they usually appear. But if after hearing all of this, you're still uncomfortable with these being on your plants, you can remove them. Um, I'd suggest either spraying them off with a hose or physically rubbing them off. But since these tiny clear balls are naturally occurring, they'll come back at some point. But if you do find that there are pests on your plant along with these tiny clear balls, I'm not gonna say it's linked, but you do need to treat your plant accordingly. But keep in mind that these tiny clear balls, again, they may come back and this may be a separate issue. Something else that I've noticed, and I don't know for sure if this is a direct correlation or not, but I did notice that on the biggest leaves, there are very few, if any, of these tiny clear balls on them. But on some of the medium-sized leaves, there is a lot. And I did measure. And so my biggest leaves are at least um, about 11 inches across. And what I consider medium size, those leaves are about eight to eight and a half inches across. Again, I don't know if this is a direct correlation, but it is something that I've noticed. So again, from my research and my personal experience and observations, these tiny clear balls on plants are naturally occurring. If your plant is growing as it should, don't worry. They're not hurting your plant. I hope this helps.